Do you wish you could go back in time and flip this hourglass so that you could start this whole actuarial thing a whole lot sooner? Well, maybe you are in your last year of school and you haven't passed an exam yet, or maybe you're in your 20s or 30s and you're just getting started. Well, this actuarial catch-up strategy that I'm going to share with you will show you how to focus your next 12 months so that you can become a top candidate, you can get hired, and you can achieve what most people take years to accomplish. This is a three-part strategy where there are three different focus areas. So let's start with passing exams. Okay, so a top candidate doesn't need a 4.0 GPA and a whole bunch of exams passed. That is sort of old school thinking now. In today's world, a top candidate really needs two exams passed, but I have seen many of our Actuary Accelerator community members, whom I'm working with the closest, be able to get a job even with just one exam passed. Now, how to study for those exams is a whole other video, actually four other videos, so I will link right down below to my Actuary Study Strategy Guide. So that's a guide plus a four-part video series that's going to guide you on exactly how to prepare for your exams. Go check that out if you want it. Anyway, having more than two exams passed really isn't going to help your application. If you can't get a job with two exams passed, it is definitely because you haven't built up a strong success stack. So a success stack is one of the best ways to overcome any shortcomings that you might feel you have in your candidacy for actuarial jobs. It's what really differentiates you from the tens to hundreds of other candidates that are going to be applying for the same positions. We're in a time right now where there is an overabundance or an oversupply of actuarial candidates. But don't let that discourage you even for a minute because the majority of them are going to be putting all of their time and energy towards passing exams. This is how you can stand out through your success stack because most people aren't going to be spending time on it. They're going to completely ignore it. Kind of like how I ignore my alarm clock in the morning when I've been up till 2am studying. So what is a success stack? Well, basically this is all the non-exam qualifications that an actuarial employer is looking for. Things like related experience and technical skills. Each employer is going to prioritize different skills. So what I recommend is that you work on building up and strengthening the most commonly asked for NEQs so that you're basically eligible for the most number of jobs out there. Now, a warning before we move on though, you might notice that I have labeled these as focus areas and not steps. And that is because these are not done in steps. There is a time management strategy associated with all this and I will get to that coming up. Okay, so you are unlikely to have a job created for you if you don't have a network. You are unlikely to find about unposted job opportunities if you don't have a network. What I'm saying here is that you are going to be able to increase the number of opportunities, job opportunities, you have available to you and probably your starting salary as well if you have a strong, well-connected network. These types of success stories about getting actuarial jobs and having jobs created for you has happened for members of our Actuary Accelerator community numerous times, so it's something that our current members always focus on as well. Now, networking doesn't mean that you have to do coffee chats with different actuaries every single week. Side rant, I have never tried coffee. Why do people think it smells so good? I was introduced to mango tangos in Costa Rica, so if you wanna do a coffee chat with me, it would have to be a mango tango chat instead. What it actually means is that you have to make strategic and intentional connections with key people and keep them posted on your progress as you're going through your actuarial journey. It really doesn't have to be as scary as most future actuaries think it does. And trust me, I get that because I myself hated networking as well. Now, my guess is that you really like the idea of being job ready, being a top candidate within 12 months from now, or maybe even less. But that is not going to happen if you treat these like steps in a ladder. Instead, these need to be treated more like a three-legged step stool that you can stand on in order to reach your goal. And each leg needs to be built up gradually to lift you to your goal. So that means that you need to be working on each of these different focus areas at the same time. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this going to take me longer to pass exams if I'm working on these other things, networking and success stack, at the same time? And the truth is that, yes, you will be <laughs> taking longer to pass your exams, but you're going to be job ready so much sooner. And since you're already starting later than you 
would ideally like to be, this is gonna be a great strategy for you because it helps you get there faster. So let's talk about how much time you should be spending on each of these different focus areas because it's not split equally. So networking, you're gonna spend about 4% of your time, maybe about half hour per week. Success stack needs about 16% of your time, about two and a half hours per week. And studying, still taking up the biggest chunk of time, you're gonna spend about 80% of your time there looking at about 12 hours per week, as long as you have a good study strategy. Now, 12 hours is not going to be enough if you're studying inefficiently. There are things you can do from the very beginning so that you're setting yourself up for success. So make sure you go grab my actuary study strategy guide. It's completely free and it is in the description. Go get it and that will get you on the right path.